Hello! I'm going to show you how to do a tutorial on this Christmas tree jewelry tree. They were done in the 60s and 70s a lot and this one was this is a velvet, this is navy blue velvet this was just a frame I got at the junk store and I used thin board. This shape of this tree was a piece of board I got at the Dollar Tree. I covered it with this bling and then these are just miscellaneous pieces of jewels and then I put this one has lights get ready there it is and I put lights in it too so I'm going to show you on a different one that I'm doing how I came up with this method to do this so I will be right back okay here's what we got here's how I did it here's the frame I want to use you need a base from the thrift store you need you can get it from anywhere you need a base piece of wood to fit in here with a little wiggle room because you're going to be covering this with fabric so you're going to need a little ease here so before you cover it with fabric you have your base then I figured out the cut this is going to be for your tree obviously and you're going to we're going to put it on like these and then figure out where you want your holes for your lights. So there's 20 in a string. you got to measure them out. So you figure out where you want your lights. And they, they're, these dollar store ones are pretty close. Here, I'll show you. Show you. Yeah. I was going to do multi on this one. So you can't space them too far out because they won't reach. See, they're pretty close. They're like two and a quarter inches apart. So you got to figure. Yeah. See. Derp. Like that. So, you take this thing, board, and you screw it on to this one. Doop, doop. You put a couple screws in, and then you're going to drill your holes. You can mark where you And you draw them through both pieces really good. And then I'll come back and show you. Here's how I'm going to mark for the holes. I taped this down onto this tree and then I'm just going to take this thing and make a mark in the center now where you want them and he's got a drill press out there in the garage and he can drill these out for me so I'll I'm come back when I'm all through okay I got it them all we got them all marked take this off and this is where we're going to drill. But first we have to screw this onto this board because they have to be sandwiched down so that the holes match up this thing to this thing, if that makes sense. So, we'll be back. Okay, we've got them all marked, and he's going to start drilling the holes. So, we're going to rip. Also, check your holes before you or do a test hole to see how your lights are going to fit. Okay, we got the holes drilled. See, here's and we took the screws out that were here that were holding it while we drilled it. Da da. So, what I'm going to do, you have to take, you could paint this if you wanted, you know, yeah. you, you could do whatever you wanted. I like to cover it with some fabric. I have this red velvet that I'm going to cover it with. I'm going to hot glue it on there, and then you have to go through and cut these holes out so that you can get your lights through. You know, yeah, I will show you. Got that. So, we're going to do that. Then I have this. I used this. This you get at the dollar store. You could use anything. You could just paint this as well. Or you could use glitter paper. Or you could put glitter and glue. I just use this bling from the dollar store. And, but see, it's not the right size. <laughs> so, of course, I had to fit it. So, I'm going to put it on here. See, I had to piece it. 
you have to put it on here. And then I got to cut out all these holes. So that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. So I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I got my piece of fabric glued on here. I just hot glued around the edge. I use low temperature hot glue because I'm allergic to the hardcore stuff. So I just did that. Then I went around with a razor knife and cut out where all the holes are. And make sure you have it oriented the way it was when it was cut out. You know, like don't do it this way. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay. Then I covered this guy with bling. Which is self-adhesive. It's self-adhesive, which is awesome. The one I used before wasn't. And it was little strips, and I tried to fit it around after I did the lights. It was not fun. Mm -hmm. So this was way better. And we painted this red along the edge. We would have done gold, but we didn't have gold. Oh, did I do this right? Maybe I didn't do it right. Right? Did I line up? Yeah, it lines up. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I screwed up for a second. Okay. So, now we're going to screw these on and then shove the lights through. And I will be back. Here it is with the lights shoved through. See, this is a good time to light it up to... So you don't get discouraged. There it is lit up. Let me unplug it here. And I'll put it over here and show you. Just screwed on. Doop a doop here. And then on the back. I started here. And I just went around. It took two people. One person has to hold it. And the other one. I had to kind of ream the holes out with this knife. And then I put a spot of glue. On each one just to hold it secure. But that's pretty much it. Let me go get the frame. I'll be right back. And, you know, you could stop right here and just hang it like that. I would put some bling over these mm -hmm. to hide these. Or you could even take these out at this point because I think they'll hold, you know, with the lights glued through. But that's kind of how it'll look. Now I'm going <clears> to, <throat> then I'm going to take it I'm just, I have a bunch of spare old jewelry parts and things, and so I'm going to glue the jewels on, and then I'll come back and show you when I do that part. Here it is. It's all ready to bling, so I thought I'd just show it to you set up in the dark here. <clears throat> but it looks good like that, actually. But you can put, you could put acrylic jewels on it. You could put tinsel. Whatever you wanted. But I'm going to put old jewelry and stuff on it. So I'll be back to work on it. Here it is with the jewels glued on. I'm trying to fight the light here. <laughs> I got still got some strings for my glue gun. I just finished this. So there's, you just take, like a lot of these are earrings or they have little thingies like this. Just use your clippers, snip them off. And I just glued them on with this low temp glue. But you just kind of figure out how you want. And I like to put, like, the other one I had, Lucite beads, I put by the lights. You put kind of a nice shiny bead by the light. I'll show you. It really reflects nice. Hope this doesn't blind you. There. So you get some reflections off those beads when you do that. So that's pretty much it. The hardest part is figuring what to glue where. Let me unplug this again. There you go. So that's it. And then he puts, you know, nails this in. And then it's usually a, puts a, like a wire um, hanger. hanger thing here. And it'll sit away from the wall just a little bit, but that not much. And see, this is how it is all glued down in the back. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty much it. So, happy gluing if you make one.